Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math algebra problem for the values of m. If we have m square minus 4 equals to m plus 4 and its square root. So here we have one restriction is that our m should must be n greater than or equals to 2. Okay, so now uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we remove this radical sign in the right hand side. Uh, and for this we need to take a squares on both of the sides and it will be written as m squared minus 4 whole square equals to m plus 4 square root and its whole square now you see here these two and square root are gone and now we separate and uh, now we expand uh, this nice uh, algebraic identity so that according to this identity we write it as <clears throat> m squared and its whole square uh, and minus 2 times of uh, m square into 4 and plus 4 square equals to m plus 4 okay so after this step uh, we need to simplify the terms and we obtain m to the power of 4 minus 2 times of uh, m square into 4 plus this is 4 square and we move these two terms in the left hand side and it will becomes minus m minus 4 equals to 0. So now here we have this is the our game changer step so uh, if you focus on uh, this term uh, this equation is the uh, fourth order equation in m variable so that now we convert uh, this equation uh, into the quadratic form by substituting here y is equals to 4 so you see here if you substitute y is equals to 4 and we have y square equals to 4 square then our above uh, equation is written as in this form this is m to the power of 4 minus 2 times of m square and this is our 4 and we write this 4 is equals to y and this is 4 square 4 square equals to y square and this is minus m minus 4 and 4 equals to y and this is equals to 0 and now we convert this uh, equation uh, into the quadratic in y variable so that uh, we rewrite this equation as uh, here we just uh, reorder the terms and we write it as y squared and after that uh, we need to take common y from these two terms and it will be written as uh, when you take common uh, y it will becomes here minus into 2m square plus 1 into y and its remaining terms are m to the power of 4 this is m to the power of 4 minus m is equals to 0 and now you see here uh, this equation uh, will becomes quadratic in y variable and now we uh, um, solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula so that here um, first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus into 2m square plus 1 and c equals to m to the power of 4 minus n okay so these are the coefficients of a b and c and uh, we very well know about the quadratic formula it is stated as y is equals to uh, <coughs> minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our nice quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula and it will be written as y equals minus b and the value of b is this is and so this minus times of minus becomes plus and it will becomes 2m square plus 1 and plus minus square root of b square so b is uh, 2m square plus 1 whole square here we just uh, move this negative term to positive because of this square and now we have minus 4 times of ac a is 1 and c is m to the power of 4 minus m and its whole square root divided by 2 times of a and the value of a is equals to 1 
so here uh, we need more simplification on uh, the square root sign uh, inside the square root so we have 2m square plus 1 and plus minus here uh, we need to expand this nice algebraic formula so it will be written as 4m to the power 4 plus 1 and plus 4 times of m square here we need to multiply this minus 4 on both of these terms and it will become minus 4 to uh, m to the power of 4 plus 4 m and it is divided by 2. So here you see that uh, this minus 4 m 4 and plus 4 m 4 are cancelled by each other and the remaining terms are 2 m squared plus 1 and plus minus. If you focus on these three terms, so these three terms uh, when we combine these three terms it is uh, it, it will be equals to uh, the square of 2x plus 1. So these are becomes here the square of 2m plus 1 whole squared and it is divided by 2. And now here you see that this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and uh, we get here 2 times of m square plus 1 and plus minus uh, here we obtain 2m plus 1 divided by 2. So now we convert this into the two cases so that our first case is uh, we, we take the positive value. So you get here 2m square plus 1 plus 2m plus 1 divided by 2 and here we take the negative term and you get 2m square plus 1 minus 2m minus 1 divided by 2. So here we need some simplifications and you get 2m square plus 2m plus 2 divided by 2 and in that case you see here this negative and positive term are gone and you get 2m square minus 2m divided by 2. So here we need to break this fraction so we put these two uh, separately on each of these terms then uh, these two is cancelled out by each of these terms. And after cancellation, you get y equals m square plus m plus 1. And in this case, we get y equals m square minus m. So that finally, we have uh, the two values of y are uh, y equals to m square plus m plus 1. And the second value is y equals m square minus m. And now we back substitute the value of y because we substitute y equals to 4. So this will be written as m square plus m plus 1 and in this case we have 4 is equals to m square minus m because we in the start of the problem we take y equals to 4 okay so we back substitute this value and now here we need more simplifications so when we move this 4 to the right hand side then you get here m square plus m and minus 3 equals to 0 and in this case we get m squared minus m minus 4 equals to 0. So here you get again uh, two quadratic equations uh, then here you easily uh, find the values of m by again using the quadratic formula so that here uh, I can just write uh, its answers. Uh, so the two roots of this um, quadratic equation are after applying the quadratic formula it is minus 1 plus minus uh, square root of 13 divided by 2 and in this case we get m is equals to 1 plus minus square root of 17 and it is divided by 2. So here uh, you remember uh, the given condition uh, in the question statement. So our given condition is that m is always greater than or equals to 2. But if you focus on this case, in this case our m is not greater than or equals to 2. When you simplify this term into the decimal form, you cannot get the value of m is greater than or equals to 2 okay so that um, this type of solutions cannot satisfy our given equation so that we uh, rejected uh, these solutions and we have uh, only uh, these are the two solutions of the given equation okay so this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos